Good morning and welcome to the morning show on Fusion. I'm Mariana Tencio, joined by my co-host Pedro Andrade and Yanis Papas, who's back. Facebook status updates, tweets, Instagram video, checking in on Foursquare. Nowadays, it's come to share your personal life with your social media network. But sometimes it can lead to dangerous, unwanted encounters because you may be sharing your location, guys, without even realizing it. Yeah, it's Absolutely. happened to celebrities posting their move, uh, every move online. But it's not just happening to the rich and famous. It's happening in ways and places you would least expect. And here to explain all that is Dan Lieberman. Welcome Our back. Celebrity. Hey guys, Our celebrity. Our resident celebrity. Well, this, guy, this really is a real problem because between all the social media accounts people are using these days and more, they're inadvertently telling people where they are one functionality is GPS on our phones, and one thing is called geotagging. It attaches location information to our photos and videos, but sharing your location can really become a problem when that information lands in the hands of criminals and stalkers. We actually spoke with a social media investigator, his name's Mark Bourne, and he talked to us about the problems this is causing. There are uh, groups out there that use that information, location, uh, tagging, geolocation uh, services to commit crimes, to uh, stalk out and be predators. Uh, so you need to be aware of what settings are on your apps and on, uh, on your social media networks uh, that, uh, that can actually basically tell a criminal where you're going to be or where you're not going to be at a certain uh, time. And this is the part that's really shocking. It's led to a whole phenomenon of geocasing or cyber casing, where people are robbing houses around the country. They pick homes based on away messages and photos of stuff. They like to steal things you post on social media. There are even some websites like GeoChirp and Global Tweets that can find out exactly where you're tweeting from. And you could search a hashtag, for example, a hashtag iPad. Within 10 miles, you can see what comes up. In geolocation, it's accurate within 15 feet, guys. Wow, that's yeah, scary, Dan. Crazy down. stuff, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, the internet has definitely transformed, I mean, crimes in general, uh, like identity theft, fraud, sex crimes. But that is only giving them a platform and a way to just find us or know when we're home or not. Totally. You know that 20% of people have been the victims of a cyber crime. And of those cyber crimes, 80% of those use social media. So it's information wow. we ourselves it's, it's are putting out there. So it's yeah. happening, a, that is a lot. I mean, it's a lot. Who knew that burglars were actually using this metadata? I mean, that's really the thing. Mark Bourne, he actually says that this metadata has become a real tool for criminals. Take a listen. It's something that has been gaining ground in the criminal underground for some time, and uh, it, it just needs to be brought out into the light for the public to realize that they, they need to take steps to protect themselves because basically they're, they're making themselves a victim without even realizing it. This makes me nervous because I, I have to tweet where I am in order to promote my dates. Exactly. Yeah, it's funny you were going to say in order to promote your career. <laughs> my, my career. <laughs> comedy dates. Comedy oh, dates and comedy personal dates. dates. Wait, what? Comedy <laughs> dates. <laughs> His Tinder location. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it is true. I mean, when you, when you post you know, just status updates, you know, away for the holidays, loving New York and the holidays, then, uh, uh, you know, a burglar is going to know that I'm away from my home in Florida. Exactly. And yeah. that maybe I use a particular video camera to do stories and they want to steal that. And, I mean, and it raises the question you know, why do we have to post everything immediately? You know, you could yeah. go on vacation and you get back home and you post it up. That's when we used to develop film or whatever, right? But, but then it wouldn't be Instagram. Exactly. But out, out of all the social media vehicles out there, uh, Facebook, you, ha you shouldn't be checking it, checking yourself in anywhere. Uh, Twitter, you, it's an easy way to tell, tell everyone where you're at, but Instagram is the safest one, right? Because it, well, you can post later after your trip, but there is no way for them to actually track you. Right. With Twitter, the websites that you were showing, they can actually track where that tweet was tweeted from. Exactly, and a lot of the, the metadata, it's about this, in, this, this information that's embedded in your photo. You don't know this, but sort of like on your iPhone, the photos that you take with your, with your regular camera, they actually have data in the photo that can tell people where it's taken. So you actually have to turn those things off. Um, and Instagram actually scrambles the location in the metadata, but you actually could tag your location. So it's a question of whether you want to do that or not. And what can people do to... Well, Mark Bourne, he actually is a social media investigator, one of the jobs that's come out of <laughs> oh, modern nice. technology. Of uh, but Mark Bourne, he actually gave us some tips on what you can do to prevent yourself from being a victim. He says, number one, don't share information with the public. Set up groups and lists. 
Uh, that's sort of an obvious one. But number two, be aware of location and privacy settings on your apps. You actually have to go in there and turn those things off, which leads to number three, turn off geotagging on your phone. You actually have to go into settings and do that. And block unfamiliar users, number four. You probably have friends and people that you don't even no, so maybe you should unfriend them. And number five, this one's really interesting. Use hashtag Latergram. For the longest time, I didn't know what Latergram really was all about. But one of the good things about it is you could go on that vacation and then That's just right. post those uh, those videos and photos later. Yeah. Hashtag Latergram. Oh. Absolutely. Just That's one very more. Very good advice. Just one more thing that I was blown away. The financial cost of cyber crime is larger than the black market for cocaine, heroin, and marijuana combined. So it's yeah. a gigantic yeah. problem in this it's country. Shocking. And this is great tips. That and police and police are actually using social media as well to solve crime. So yeah. it's the, this metadata is sort of both a, a blessing and a curse. And so we'll have to see what happens. I smell yeah. a new plan Thank for a Home Alone movie, though. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> Latergram. That's what later it's going to Thank you so much. Cool. Hashtag Latergram. Thank you. Hashtag <laughs> Latergram.